Find the HCF and LCM of 180 and 756. Now for larger numbers it's not practical to list the factors or the multiples. So what we use is we use a method using the prime factors. So writing both numbers as a product of their prime factors, starting by 180 using the diff division method, 2 goes in. For the first you look, if the number's even, you just divide 2 in because it's the first prime number. You get 90. 2 will go into 90 45 times. 2 doesn't go in, but if you add the digits of 4 and 5, you get 9, therefore it is divisible by 3. 3's into 45 go 15. 3's also go into 15, 5 times, and 5's go into 5 1 time. So therefore, 180 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And now we'll split the other number up. 756, again it's even, so 2 goes into 756. 337 times and you can use short division if you can't do that like 2's into 7 goes 3 times remainder 1 2's into 15 it goes 7 times remainder 1 2's into 16 it goes 8 times exactly so you can use short division if you can't just do it straight away this is an even number so we'll try again by 2 so 2's into 378 is 189 this is no longer even, so we've got to look, look at the next number. 1 plus 8 plus 9 is 18. 18 is divisible by 3, therefore that number is divisible by 3. 3 is into 189 is 63. And hopefully you can now see that 3 goes in again. 3 is into 63 is 21. 3 is into 21 is 7. And 7 is into 7 go one time. And therefore, writing them out again, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 7. Right, so, having found the prime factors, we now need to find the HCF first. Now, to find the HCF, what you do is you look to see which ones they have in common. So, we have a 2 in common, that 2 in common, a 3 in common, a 3 in common there, and then there's nothing else. We've got a 3 and a 5 and a 7 left. So the HCF, after pairing them up, the common factors, will be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, which comes to 36. 2 twos are 4, 3 threes are 9, 4 nines are 36. Now for the LCM, again, you take the ones which are paired up, you write those down once only, so 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, but we've got left over a 3, a 5, and a 7. So we're going to write times 3, times 5, times 7. So for the LCM you take the pairs and then anything that's left over. That comes to 3780. Okay so 3780 is the highest number which both 180 and 756 go into exactly. That's what we mean by the LCM and the highest number that goes into 180 and 756 is 36. That's what we mean by those, those two terms.